Since February of 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic has taken the whole world by storm. As schools, restaurants, and most other public establishments begin to close their doors, sports seasons, graduations, and concert dates came to a stop as well. There was no timeline on when these activities and places would resume a normal schedule, for the coronavirus is not a matter to be taken lightly. Like many others, I wondered if America's beloved game of football would return in the upcoming fall season. Sports analysts and scientific speculations made the 2020 college football season look unplayable. Furthermore, the Big Ten and Pac-12 made early decisions to cancel their respective seasons in an attempt to keep everyone involved safe. Like many others, I thought this announcement would start a domino effect to cancel the 2020 college football season for good. After Ohio State's Justin Fields and Clemson's Trevor Lawrence expressed their concerns about the uncertainty of playing in the fall, college athletes organized a movement called We Want to Play. The vast majority of players wanted to create a safe environment to play in the upcoming season. Even the President of the United States wanted to see all these hard-working athletes play the game they love. This enticed athletic directors and conference presidents to take a closer look at the procedures necessary to make football safe. To my surprise, the three other Power Five conferences and most of the group of five decided to play a delayed season. It wasn't long before the two conferences that opted out had changed their mind. As a current college football player, I can't tell you how excited all the players are to be back on the gridiron competing. And I'm sure the fans don't mind either.